Welcome everyone, my name is Premier of Blood, we are back with more Pokemon Zeta and Omicron. We are uploading this instead of streaming it this time as it will be more faster than anything I've ever done before in my entire... Actually, that's a lie. To be honest with you, we're just trying to get through this gym as it's going to be a ghost type gym. And we are very well prepared for it as you actually get a good look at my team we're gonna do a little bit of battling a little bit of talking i hope you all are ready for this as we go for our next badge make sure you smash the like button as your support is always wildly appreciated while also leave it in the comment section of like what the next rom hat maybe we should play and everything else that goes wrong with it. right now we're playing consistently with two we're playing zayden omicron and we're playing Pokemon Insurgents right now. I don't know how long Insurgents is going to take us, but man, it is what it is. Vast nature is boo-boo. Adam and nature is monstrous. Hardy, it could be a little bit better. Naughty nature, eh, not, not bad because we're going to use you, but we got purr. We got purr, a dark type. In parts, uh, kind of, I like it. Twisted. And then we got shrooms and lax nature. Capable of taking a hit, but... You won't really be used too much when it comes to it. And man, level 22. So, I like playing Pokemon Zeta and Omicron. It's a fun little ROM. I'm not gonna lie to you on that. It kind of gives me that, um, I don't want to, like, like, maybe, maybe dabbing a pro kind of feel to it. I don't, I don't really know what it's based off of like, when they were making the ROM hack itself, but it's not that bad. It's actually pretty cool. I just wish I could use my controller instead of the keyboard. I hate using keyboard so much. I gotta be so close to the screen. I like looking at my face all in. It's smudged in this tiny little box, but... It is what it is. Technically, it's like 2.30 right now in the morning for me, but it's a different time for you all. But this is usually the crunch time I work on my videos. And you're like, what? Familiar you work on videos? I haven't seen any updates lately. Well, <sighs> work. Work has been getting to me. And when I say it's been getting to me, I mean I haven't had time. As y'all know... We stream these so y'all can interact with me and talk with me. Wow, this is just going to be a normal update. I mean, upload video on the channel. But right now, y'all can still have that chance. Y'all can comment in the comment box and everything, you know? Just not in a live stream format this time. That's just, just going to be a sample upload. But um, our goal is to beat the gym. Our goal is to always beat the gym. I know I don't state that all the time in these LPs and everything. But at least beat the gym. Cut it. It's a wrap. Go to the next town. Cut it. It's a wrap. You know. Lit it on fire like my mixtape. Because you know. People want to hear that heat. Eh. 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 So anyway. Graveler. Man. We're about to turn you into rocks. You about to be... Nothing but a Q-Bone. Anyway, we're going to stir some sand up. Magnitude. Six. Not eight. Not seven. Not four. And definitely not one. But I remember in Pokemon um, Ruby and Sapphire. At least I think that was. Yeah, it was definitely Ruby and Sapphire. Whenever you use um, Earthquake or... Oh, on anybody who use like dig it still hits so I'm like why does that concept not apply anymore and you're probably like I'm pretty sure it does Vermil and well I haven't seen it I haven't seen it I mean it should still hit it's still the ground there you go it still it still hits and it does more but um I know these ROM hacks and everything are supposed to be a challenge and everything. That's why many YouTubers do like. Uh, should we switch out? Should we switch out? Which I don't want to get hit with any rocks. That's my problem. I know many YouTubers do these they do these ROMs and everything for like fun and everything. That's the whole point and everything. And they're kind of a challenge, but like. 
sometimes it's, it's very unnecessary how I take so much damage when I am clearly the one who is at a higher level than you are. It's just aggravating sometimes. Ah, uh, so we're going by Gen 1 rules? Because I'm clearly a grass type. That's supposed to nullify that. But whatever, you know? Teach his own. But if Tyranitar, if you wake up in this next turn, bro, it's gonna be ham. I'm gonna go ham on your. I can't repeat that. We got some, <laughs> we got some young viewers. I can't repeat that. I can't about to go ham on you. Yeah, you better stay asleep. Don't wake back up. Don't you wake up. Yeah, of course. Why the mushroom? You better stay asleep. Don't you wake back up. There you go. You better not wake back up. And Boldar. But those of y'all that know, yeah, um, that on the channel, I make music and everything. I finally got my drum set it's back in my room. Before it was not in there, because, like, what? Did I have room for it? Uh, no. Now I do. Plenty of it. And Boldar can take some hits. Mm. As long as you don't hit me with any rocks. We should be good. Splash! So what do you got for me? Smackdown. I said as long as you don't get hit with any rocks. And we fall straight to the ground. What are you doing, Gyarados? With your hearty nature. Like, why are you hearty? Why can't you be jolly? Oh, yeah. For those that do not know in the game, because I haven't showed that item or anything, but there's, like, items, stones that work kind of like, like, um, like fire stones and everything, elemental stones, where instead of it evolving a Pokemon or anything, it allows you to change the stats. It's the IV stones. You bring them to that one person in that one town. And we have fly now. So I can pop in and pull up whatever I want, you know. Because we pull up where we're, we're about it. We're always in action. We always pull up. Anyway. Splash. So who is trying to get... Feel the wrath of my really rare Pokemon. Feel the wrath of my you kid, as we give you that ass whipping your parents did not give you. There we go. There we go. Don't mess with the level 30. That's the way it should be. That's the way it should be. Yeah, no match for your raw power. And I take your money, kid. Your lunch money. And we got it here. So what you got for me? It's just directly easy if you had Okay, well, we already know that because we already been that towel. So let's go battle the gym, shall we? Also, I was checking things out so I know what is the next destination and everything when it comes. What we have to do. So we got to get surf. And we'll probably do that after we battle the gym. Gotta talk to Pokemon assistant and everything. And that's about it. We had to battle that girl up there. Apparently she's from the cancel region. Oh yeah. Hey, one thing though. <laughs> one thing. I thought this was hilarious. Y'all may not find this not one bit funny. But hey. Well besides that guy. That guy's just running. But look at this. Come on Diglett. Show us what's beneath the ground. Please Diglett. I want to see it. Diglett is <laughs> Diglett's like, I'm not going underground. I'm not going to follow me. It reminds me of that episode of the very first episode in the Cancel region with Ash and them and the Diglett problems that they had. And like everyone tried to bring out Pokemon to battle the Diglett, but the Pokemon end up returning back into the Pokeball because of the Diglets. But what is underneath a Diglett? What do you think is underneath the Diglett? 
I mean, it evolves into, like, dope drill. So, like, what could be underneath it? May I serve you? Yeah, we're going to need some items because I'm not going to get hit with any... Too much for my money. Uh... Do, 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 do. We can grab some Pokemons while we're at it. Gotta stock up, you know? You're not a real Pokemon master if you don't stock up. And. And. There you go. Give. Because since this is a ghost type gym, I'm immune to all ghost type moves. Except. For Confused Ray. So. You know, you know how that goes. And we're going to save, because all great ones save their data. Otherwise, we would be screwed. But special shout out to Panda, Yuki, and Jordan, you know. I still need to get them in to a Skype call so we can do this video for you all. Because y'all broke the light gold the last time. They gotta be spitting some flames for you all, you know. Eh, 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 eh. Gotta be spitting some flames. So. Real Bergerman next time. And we're in the gym. And we're gonna save in a gym. And why is it so dark? Hey, champ in the making. This is Graham's gym. He may be 11, but he sure is tough. He uses ghost type Pokemon, a type that is immune to both fighting and normal types. Be sure not to use psychic types, but dark types or other ghost types might be help to you. Might be. Yo, that girl's invisible. You're no match for my Pokemon. We'll see about that girl. What you got in them shorts, girl? Girl! No, no, we're done. <laughs> we're so done with that. Uh, what you gonna do with me? What you, what you got? What you got? You got nothing. What you gonna hit me with? Confused Ray, right? I got something for you, too. Yeah. And I outspeed you. Take a dirt nap. Get out my face. Level 30? I think level 31. Uh, so close. Never mind. Miss Magius. Ah. Um, stepping y'all game up, huh? Spike. By four, huh? We'll take your rage to bed. By four. Why do you keep going for Shadow Ball? You know, I'm just... Growl. So you're gonna lower my attack. Bye-bye. But hopefully, Graham only has, like, Gengar, Ghastly, and Haunter. Cause I can deal with them easily. Hit them with a side beam and they out. Finito. Just like the song. But, um... Tomorrow, just expect some videos and stuff. If not, if you do not see anything i do have i do have um my shiny hunts i did record me doing some shiny hunting i need to put it on the channel so be good on that i just did not do a stream for it other than that but i got a lot of videos i need to upload you all you know so just expect just expect maybe one or two videos coming y'all way today as it is Thursday, it's about to be 3 o'clock before you even know it. I don't know why she's invisible. In that last gym, you had to battle them. Or you had to collect something to gather your, like, stamina or whatever. Like, you had a ghostly form just like them. And Drift Bloom. Drift Bloom! You know, I don't even really know the real sound of what a Drift Bloom makes, but 
for something that can like take you away if you just if you grab on one of its arms or whatever kind of deadly see that was my bad touche and I still outspeed you take that dirt nap inflate this balloon cuz that bubble been popped and what you go level 32 double hit double hit will do me no justice right now why are you trying to learn double hit right now no 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 if you listen closely I know the music is faint but it, it has the lavender town you can hear it it's lavender town ghost types I see what y'all doing. That's cool. That was dope. I didn't notice it until we started walking back, but it has the Lavender Town theme music. I was about to say soundtrack, but not really a soundtrack, as it's just only that one theme song. Now, to the many numerous YouTube videos of people recreating the song and doing their own thing with it. Slap all that together in one in one LP on one body of music and then you got yourself a soundtrack. Anyway. Wrong way. Your timing has come from Mill. Face your fate. No. You face yours. Cause we ain't going down. You a reaper. You a cool trainer. You're a reaper. Well, guess what? I'm about to body that ass. For a second there, I was hearing two kind of... Oh, okay. Whenever you use Shadow Ball, I don't know what it is. It gives off the sound of the super effective hit kind of sound. So I was hearing the super effective hit sound, which naturally comes from whenever you use the shadow ball, and I was hearing the sound of the actual super effective hit. See? This is what I'm talking about. Haunter. You're not gonna like this. There you go. And it's stab. And you knew Sucker Punch. You know the sad thing about it is... Gengar and... Like, Gengar and Haunter sets and stuff. They don't like... You don't see physical ones. And they're probably like, Well, why? They have very good high special attack. Well... Break the mole, you know? Break the mole. If you can learn Sucker Punch, Why can't you invest into it to be a physical attacker? And knowing ghost type Pokemon, you always have a way of like worming your way around to make a good set that help you out in some way. In some way. Taking names, getting a little money, and also getting some um getting a little bit of experience. Here and there. Doom, 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 doom. Ghost type Pokemon, Ghost type gem will always be the best gem around as long as we have granted to lead it. Well, that's true. But any gem can be the best as long as y'all have y'all leaders to guide y'all. And we're battling Trainer Doom. What's so Doom about you? The fact that you about to take this Shadow Ball to the face? That's pretty Doom. Flame Burst. Man, get your old hot candle wax out my face. Eat that. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. You didn't want none of that. Your name was Liquid, but 
I was litten in this match before you even knew it. Haunter. So, Shadow Ball. No, you wouldn't even. You, oh! Oh! I meant Sucker Punch, but he probably was going for Shadow Ball, for, for all I know. And I outspeed you. Take that Shadow Ball to the face. Call it. So, what should I do? What do y'all think, kids? What do you think, kids? Should I stomp on you? Or should I hit you with the Shadow Ball? Survey says stomp on you. Because why not? Magnitude 6. I did nothing. Take the Shadow Ball to the face. That was just beautiful. <laughs> uh, no, my ghost types. Your ghost types don't stand nothing to my dark types. And pretty much every Pokemon on my team right now basically knows some type of dark type move. Like, look at this. Assert? 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 Or whatever. I know I'm saying it wrong. I know I butchered it. Miss Hips, because she got them hips. Girl. Bite. Bite, Splash. Splash will bite you before you get hit with that tidal wave. Purr, because you know it purrs as it got that Shadow Ball. And. And Pursue. I know you two do not have any dark type moves at all. But it's not really a problem. Also, if y'all notice, there's a shadow. We have our own little shadow. Whenever we stand near the lights. Or was it just was it just me? Oh there it is. We got a little shadow. The street lights are pokeballs. Isn't that beautiful? Yes, we want to heal our Pokemon up. Also save your game. I hit the button way too much. But as y'all see on the actual layout itself, I might as well speak on it. Those are the Pokemon that we were using before. The rock looks dry and slightly warm to the touch. Perhaps a secret lies inside. I wonder what the secret could be. Maybe legendary Pokemon? So, if you're wondering, Vermeil, your Pokemon don't match up to the ones in your layout. Well, that's because they were the ones that I was using last time. And, like, some of them were actually on the layout, while the rest, I just not. And I didn't see it as a big reason to really change it up as to be honest with you this is not really like a, a nuzlocke anymore it's more of a let's plays as the nuzlocke section of it is already over so it doesn't really matter what's at the bottom of me are you gonna hit me with that sucker punch no you're not that's what i'm talking about take that side beam to the face and gengar Gengar could get it too. We ain't scared of it. A hey, King Nappy. You tried your best. But take that to the face. And you confuse. What you confused about? So, the levels are getting up there. Level 30. It's getting pretty up there. Level 34. Grim. What's so grim about you, girl? You need to smile more. You're over here playing with ghost-type Pokemon, and you're in a gym with no light. I'll be grim, too. I don't even know what's up here. I see the walls. I don't want to battle you. Maybe... Uh... No, dead end. A Pokemon with Flash would be... Nice. Okay. That was scary. So, you have the Gengar. And you got the Shreninja. 
I'm done. I'm so done. <laughs> I'm so done with this. You got the Shed Ninja and the Gengar. A Pokemon that can't get hit by any move other than what it's weak to. Which is being Ghost and Bug. Meaning anything weak to Bug types and anything weak to Ghost types. And... One of, the, one of my favorite fast Pokemon that are that is a ghost type itself, and that's Gengar. So enough saving. So you come at last. I've been watching you stumble around my gym for quite some time now. Excuse me, I'm just a kid. I happen to be the fourth strongest gym leader. Around. Not only that, but I was trained by my twin brother in the Elite Four. You don't hear anyone calling him just a kid, do you? You got a point. But. We come to take you down kid. Haunter. Confused Ray. I forgot to put the berry on you. My bad. And it's a crit. And you outspeed me. Shen Ninja. Yep, switch. The whole bait and switch. But what could Shen Ninja really do to me, though? Level 36. And I outspeed you, you little husk. I tried. <laughs> I'm so done. I tried. I tried. You only had one HP. I don't know why I was even trying to like. Trying to build up in the first place. You got some bulk. Drift Bloom has some bulk. I give you that. Now, what are you going to do? Are you going to heal your Pokemon up? Are you going to take this hit to the face? That's what I thought. That's what I thought too. Gus. We're both flying types. What are that going to do to me? That's neutral to me. I resist. Notice, when I say neutral, I, I mean it's not going to do that much to me. I know it resists. We're both flying types. You're putting in all your hope on your drift balloon, man. And it's a crit. And I'm going to heal my Pokemon up. Look at the level of disrespect I'm just doing, man. It's just beautiful. <laughs> it's like a movie. I'm as win. Mm. You punch. For a second there, I was like, if Gus takes you out, Splash, what are you doing with your life, man? I thought you wanted to be better. He's trying to learn Ice Fang. Yep. Twister is garbage. There's no need to have two moves that inflicts 40 damage. And you know why I don't understand why they do Dragon Rage like this? This attack hits the target with a pure wave of... of hits with a shock wave of pure rage. My bad, I butchered that. This attack always inflicts 40 damage. Then what's the point of the explanation marks? That don't make no sense. I don't want to get rid of Tackle because it does more than any of the other attacks I have. But not more than Ice Fang. Bayonet. Bruh. 
We're gonna try something. I can put you to sleep or I can poison you. See? It has the super effective sound. But it doesn't do super effective damage. It's, I find that kind of funny. And someone's driving a motorcycle at like 3 o'clock in the morning. What is what is going on with y'all life? See? I clicked the wrong button. Shadow sneak. It does not matter. Whoever you bring out is about to take this to the face. You got the Gengar. Is that headbutt? Physical Gengar? New meta. It's the new meta. Physical Gengar. It's the new meta. I swear, if Bayonet Mega evolves on me, I'm going to raid so hard. I'll be ready for my finisher. You better not mega evolve. That's all I can tell you. Okay. Okay. Curse. That was your finisher. That was your finisher. Well, hats off to you. I don't got a hat, but you know, I had to do something. It's ironic, isn't it? I only lost two battles since I became a gym leader. One of them was to you, and the other one was another kid early today. Well, if someone's going to beat me, I'm glad it was a kid. You've proven that you, we can hold our own in this adult-run world. Obtain the Necro Badge. The Necro Badge allow you to surf outside. Take those as a prize as well. We got... Zombie Strike? Zombie Strike is a rather interesting move. It's one of the only physical ghost type moves existing. If your Pokemon have a high attack stat, they will benefit from using it. Can you do me one favor though? Go all the way and collect all the badges and tasks to Elite Four. I want you to defeat my twin brother. Base. I can't do it myself, but you, well, hopefully you can do what I can now. Visit me again if you do, okay? Perhaps we can battle again. I don't want to battle you. At least they give you the chance to get the experience points if you want to, but, like, I don't want to battle you. And also, when it comes to like the hierarchy and elemental, kind of the rock, paper, scissors system when it comes to super effectiveness and Pokemon, there's like really no, there really is no like level to what is better. Ghost types don't really, I know Psychic types is at the bottom when it comes to ghosts and dark, and darks is at the top, but dark don't really like do more damage, you know? That's just something. I thought about before. I thought about it. But. It can defeat psychic types and it can defeat dark types. I mean, ghost types, but it's not really. It's not like it does more damage, you know? It just can stand its own between two things that, um. It's super effective against. And I don't know what you're bringing out. But, you about to take the shadow ball to the face. Thank you, come again. No, my ghost types, and I take your money. But I wonder if we battle the gym leaders again. Well, their Pokemon level up or change in any way. As most y'all should know. 
I clicked the wrong button. I didn't mean to run. And I can't really do too much to you. You know, I'm glad the gym leader did not have a sublize, because that would have been. I don't know how well I took that. Detect. But I don't know how well we would have been able to deal with that, because this thing is annoying. And I have no fair type moves at all. So, one threat down. But we're still in there. Spare tomb. You're the one person who has. Okay. I outspeed you. Fan attack. Shout out the fan attack. That was ghostly. Miss Hips, she about to swing them hips. Cause I'm about to make it rain with a rock slide. Dig does more, but it doesn't really matter. I outspeed you, and it's a crit, and I'm about to take your money, and you flinch. And you about to get taken out by the sandstorm. And it missed. That was a crit too. And we take your money. Now, can we get out of here? No more battles, please. Just trying to leave. I don't want to battle you. I'm sorry. Save, because, you know, why not? And let's get the, the HM, um... Well, first, this zombie strike move. I don't know what this thing is going to do. I'm a physical attacker. And there we go. Purr! Got that. Got that sweet. Got that sweet, sweet. Anyway. Let's get the HM, and then let's end this episode. And I want to thank you all for staying around, you know. We're getting a little better with keeping up with these LPs. I know you see them, like, rare and often on the channel, but they are there. Hey, Vermel. How are you doing? It's me, Jeremy. Remember the professor assistant? Wow, you already got five badges. You're clearly an amazing trainer. Hey, how about a friendly battle? If you win, I'll give you surf. And we already have five badges. Three more people, three more, but we need to get to level 30 before then, and I think with Pokemon Insurgents, we only have three right now, but that game's a little more challenging when it, than this one, I want to say, and let's just stomp on you, ground bow. The chances of you getting paralyzed from the stomp, ground bow, comes in handy. Please, no crits. Note, Stump gets stabbed, so it does a lot. Needle Reno. Are oh, you about to take this side beam to the face? Sorry, mascot. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Why does the good cool ones have to go down? I'm so Psychic. You know what? Today, all oh, we're giraffering. <laughs> That's the mascot. And you drop special defense. I got two moves that drop special defense now. Weeping Bell. 
Shout out to the Pokemon Yellow Complete Random Nuzlocke. We had a victory bell. And we won. That was a good one. I want to redo Emerald. I will have a point in time when I redo Emerald. Because we didn't finish it. I lost my game files. And you're like, Vermillion, how did you lose your game files? When I updated my computer that we were streaming during, during the time that we were doing Pokemon Emerald, the Nuzlocke and everything. When I updated it, I couldn't touch. For some reason, the game said that uh, my game files were lost. So... I don't know what's up with that. I don't know what's going on. All I know is now we gotta start over. So, it's whatever. What a great battle. And we take your money. Wow. I can see why you won those battles. You're a fantastic battler. Here, take this. You deserve it. And we have Surf now. So, that means Gyarados is going to be a wild... A special type. Special, 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 special. As you get the honors... Also, Splash is a flying type too, so we can also give it fly, but I'm not really feeling that. And if I was like, why not for Melt World? One HM, you know, one HM at a time. And we are going to save it here, but we got to cross over that way. So I hope y'all are going to be ready for the next episode. If push comes to shove, I'll probably just upload the next episode tomorrow, which is later today. I'm thinking in my head, I'm talking in past tense terms as I are as I should have already made this on Wednesday after I got home from work, but I didn't. Bad me, you know. <laughs> but you probably see the next episode of this, maybe even two. So maybe this one and another one on Thursday. So with that, I want to say sign out everyone, and with that, signing out.